Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to survive long distance in college. How's it going? My name is Ashton Herndon, and let's just say that long distance has completely turned my life upside down. Me and my girlfriend Gianna have been dating since our sophomore year of high school, and over the past three years, we've pretty much been on any date that you can think of. From watching the sunset together, to long road trips, to even just hanging out and watching movies, me and Gianna have become inseparable, and I couldn't imagine my life without this girl. Throughout high school, we would spend every weekend going on little adventures and would plan out all the stuff we'd do together once we got to college. After graduating high school, we were on top of the world. We had a solid group of friends, hung out all day every day, and really lived out the adult life that we had always dreamed about during high school. My life had become this cheesy romantic movie, and even though I always made fun of these sappy stories, I really couldn't be happier. But once the hype of graduation started to fade away, this movie hit us with a huge plot twist. Me and Gianna ended up choosing different schools over nine hours away from each other. And my dream life turned completely upside down. Our daily hangouts turned into monthly meetups, and our weekly date nights turned into long FaceTime calls just wishing for the time to pass by. Our college life became completely different than what we thought it would be. And being back in that romantic movie seemed almost impossible. But after all those tough nights and very long trips, we started to find ways to make those thousands of miles bring us even closer than we were before. And that's why I'm here today. I'm here to show you everything I learned during my long distance relationship so that being a thousand miles away becomes as easy as possible. But before we get into it, I got myself a little date night tonight. So I'm gonna bring you guys with me and tell you everything you need to know along the way. So we have about an hour to get ready here and Gianna won't be too happy if I'm late. So let's get into it. All right, so even though long distance can be super intimidating at first, there's a lot of stuff that you can do to make the process 10 times easier. When starting out at different schools, my biggest piece of advice is to set very clear expectations from day one. Long distance is already hard enough, so it's crucial that you guys are on the same page about your boundaries. I mean, you guys are living brand new lives away from each other, so setting clear expectations from day one will help you guys avoid a lot of problems that may come from being apart. I mean, I've seen so many people start doing things that their partner really doesn't agree with and it starts a lot of unnecessary problems. So by being honest about your worries from day one, it helps you guys build that trust up and helps eliminate a lot of that jealousy and worry that comes from being so far away from each other. But in order to actually build up that trust, you guys are gonna have to communicate. I mean, if you've literally asked any couple in the world on how they make it work, communication is probably the first thing they're gonna tell you. And even though you've probably heard this a million times before, I really can't stress just how important communication is during long distance. Besides the classic phone calls throughout the day, there's a few other ways to keep the conversation interesting without being too demanding. When it comes to phone calls, what I do with Gianna is set a time to FaceTime every single day, and no matter how crazy our day gets, we both know very well that that FaceTime call is gonna happen during that time. Usually when you're away from each other, your lives become super hectic and finding time to call or text throughout the day can be a little tricky. So by having that blocked out time to catch up every day, it really helps to feel like you guys are still part of each other's lives even when you're not actually doing things with them. As far as texting goes, being intentional is super important. What me and Gianna do is send little pictures over iMessage whenever something interesting's going on, just so it's a little more thoughtful than sending mindless Snapchats back and forth to each other. There's only so much time that you guys can actually talk throughout the day. So by cutting out all the BS and being intentional with all your calls and texts, it keeps that spark alive a lot longer than just sending mindless texts back and forth all day. Remember, this is the only way you guys can connect while you're away. So it's super important to stay genuine and thoughtful in everything that you're saying. But even though talking on the phone is great and all, this is only gonna get you so far, which is why you need to plan some trips. Going long periods of time without seeing each other can become super tolling. So planning little trips to see each other throughout the year is crucial. What me and Gianna do is at the beginning of the semester, we pull our calendars out and plan at least one weekend a semester to see each other. And if there's a longer period of time in between, I like to throw a little surprise trip in there. Planning out months ahead has been huge in our relationship because it gives us something to look forward to. The plane tickets are way cheaper. And as you guys have seen a million times by now, surprise, surprise, surprise. These surprises work pretty damn well, but getting your flights, her friends on board, and everything else takes a ton of time to do. So planning your surprises ahead of time is absolutely essential. 
Trips also help out a ton with trust because when you're away, it's super hard to see what your partner's doing. But by actually visiting each other for the first time, it helps you to see what they're actually doing every day. And it helps eliminate a lot of those false worries that you had in your head. From my personal experience, going months without seeing each other is one of the hardest things I've ever done. So by even taking these little weekends to see each other, it'll help your relationship more than anything. And speaking of seeing one another, I got a little date to go on here, so I'll send you back to Ashton in the studio for our last tip. Thanks Ashton. So even when you set clear standards, communicate daily, and even plan your trips ahead of time, the hard truth is that there's still gonna be a lot of uncertainty and problems that come up that you can't control while you're away from each other. But my biggest piece of advice to you is that even when everything seems like it's going wrong, just know that getting through long distance is totally possible. I know that the day you leave one another is one of the worst feelings in the world. But just remember that the next time you do see each other, you're gonna cherish that moment 10 times more. Being away from the one you love will push you farther than you've ever gone before. But if you really think that they're the one worth waiting for, then long distance is only one obstacle in the journey towards your dream life together. There will come a day when you guys will be back together. And all that time away from each other will make you guys way stronger than regular couples out there. So even through the sleepless nights and the emotional goodbyes just remember to keep pushing through and just know that i believe in you guys your day is going to be here before you know it and you'll be so grateful that you stuck through it all just trust me on this one i know it so with all that being said if you guys found this video helpful please make sure to give it a thumbs up i do respond to every single comment so if you have any other questions or video ideas make sure to leave them down below i do have a playlist of everything you need to know about college so if you want to go check it out it'll be right here and if you want to join the family of over 1,000 subscribers now, you can click right here. And yeah, that's it for me this week, guys. And I will see you guys next week.